opportunity to relax, have fun, and learn. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And next to Annie is Adwa. Adwa, an activist, model, and founder of the Great Girls Talk, an online forum where young women can discuss mental health safely, such an important issue at the moment. She's also just been issued as a rather cool Barbie. Not dressed in sugary pink. I think we're all pleased. <laughs> next, next to, uh, to Adwer, who will not be known as Barbie for the rest of this session, is yeah. Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Sussex, who started her feminist journey at the age of 11, complaining about the portrayal of women in advertising. In her present role, she's been a vociferous spokeswoman, a royal not afraid to embrace full-on feminism, and, as of today, Vice President of the QCT. Good morning, Royal Highness. Uh, 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 just a, a, a quick one as we're among uh, friends. I mean, how's that bump treating you? <laughs> <laughs> Very well. It's funny. I've actually been joking in the past few weeks. I'd seen this documentary on Netflix about feminism, and one of the things they said during pregnancy was, I feel the embryonic kicking of feminism. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So boy or girl, whatever it is, we hope that that's the case with our little The bump. next generation of feminism is yeah. already on the way there. Guaranteed. You heard it here first. I hope that men are part of the conversation. My husband certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, don't let him off. <laughs> at the age of 11, I had seen a commercial at the time that I found to be very sexist. And, you know, truth be told, at 11, I don't even think I really knew what sexism meant. I just knew that something struck me internally. No one was telling me that it was wrong, but I knew that it was wrong. And I think sort of using that as my moral compass and moving through from the age of 11, being able to see that at that age, I was able to actually change this commercial before social media, before being able to you know, have a larger reach, just putting pen to paper, it really set up the trajectory for me to say, if things are wrong and there is a lack of justice and there's an inequality, then someone needs to say something. And why not me? Tell us a bit about yes, that. Yes, so um, I was actually born on the sunny island of Jamaica. I I'm just thrilled to, that today on International Women's Day, Apple Music have given us the opportunity to create a short film that explains about it explains the reasons why global feminism is an absolute must for the future zeitgeist. Yes. <laughs> Last word, Royal Highness, self care, as I now call <laughs> not care, treating myself. Treat You're still treating yourself to some rather fabulous shoes. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think well, the, the treat in and of itself is being able to be here and be with these incredible women on the panel. I mean, that is such a gift on this day. And then separate from that, the women in my life um, that I want to celebrate, I will continue to send some love to today. But also the men uh, you know, who are championing all of us as part of this journey is great. And then I'll put my feet up because that's a deserved <laughs> treat, especially at this stage of pregnancy. <laughs> We could just ask you politely if you could just remain in your seats just while the panel departs uh, on the excuse that we have a, a, a very, very pregnant, honoured guest to get, somehow get off a narrow platform and, and out and around the room with the rest of us. Thank you so much for coming along today. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, absolutely.